hello everyone so in this video i'm going to explain how to handle com merge conflicts with composite.log and composite.json files so uh, you can check out my json file this is the basic uh, modules are here i have not required any module and i am going to clear whatever is there and i am going to see i have branch master i am creating a new branch called master demo and inside demo i am going to i am going to uh require a package called aws cloudwatch log which is an integration between aws cloudwatch log service and drupal so composer required drupal slash module and this has installed all the dependencies for me and the key module other library and aws sdk library i am going to see the status i am committing json committing log file at aws cloud watch logs module and i'm going to check the request chain okay so it is there now i am going to go to master and here i will simply require the key module which was downloaded in the uh, demo branch when i downloaded or uh, this aws cloudwatch module now i simply need this module only i don't need the bigger module so i am going to do composer require drupal slash key module so this has downloaded key module for me and compose.json compose.log sorry and key module module in master and now i am going to check the log okay and i'm going to check my compose.json file okay this is like i have an entry with key or log file i have an i should have an entry with key okay so i have the entry with key now i am simply going to rebase uh, rebase demo uh, uh, I'm sim I'll simply go to the demo branch, check out demo, and I'll simply rebase whatever I have committed in the master, the key module. Now it is saying that I have conflict in these two files. Let me check the conflict. So there is no conflict in the uh, composer of JSON because uh, the module require added by the demo branches aws cloud was log and other module was added by the compose sorry master branch after rebasing the master in the in the um, demo branch uh, i can see that it has much conflict over here so how to solve this for solving this just remove this extra symbols this symbol this symbol and i can see two hashes uh, coming from those two commits now keep any hash regardless of i mean which commit is it is from keep any hash either of the two and simply then add add Composer dot lock. Okay, now or uh, and you can do this. It rebase continue. It has added the lock, but 
it has re- it has successfully re- did the rebase of master branch into my uh, demo branch but i am still going to let let me run composer validate command to see if my composer file is correct or not the both composer.json and log so it is saying the log file is not up to date with the latest changes in composer.json why because the hash is not correct we are still using the incorrect hash so to fix that composer run composer update with lock keyword so this will up run composer update create a new hash for me and will keep all the dependencies uh, to the logged version the version logged in the composer.log file so it will not update any dependency but it will create a new hash for me so this is how we solve merge conflict with composer.log file and what if we seek merge conflict with composer.json so in that case simply keep the commit or simply keep the changes you want to keep from the latest commit uh, the commit which is having the most recent uh, updated updates and then uh, install other packages by manually requiring them by doing this and the package this is how you solve merge conflict with composer.json but for log you just have to remove the changes and then run composer update command